All right, so today on FPV Coach, I'm going to learn to do a dive gate. He's going to learn to do a dive gate. Probably right. first, second try. It's going to be a short episode. It's going to. I'm going to nail this. Yeah, it's a piece of cake. To start out doing the dive gates, I always just kind of like came into it flat just to kind of get the feel for going through it and that way at least you can do it in a race if you have to. So in this, how are we going to measure my progress? Just getting through it or are we going to time something? Well, I think we should start out by seeing if you can do it first, even if you just go flat through it, mm -hmm. but then progress up to a split S to where it looks cool because that's going to help you in freestyle. But it doesn't matter if I look cool doing it, it's just matters if I get better time, right? If you're focused on racing, but if you're yeah. focused on freestyle, this can help you in freestyle. Because ah, okay. the, the point of this isn't just to help you in racing, but to help you be a better pilot to begin with. Right. And these obstacles can help you in a real world application in freestyling. It helps me a lot. And the dive be... is the coolest thing you can do. Like starting all the way back from F3 Expo when Schizo was doing it. That was like right. the first time I ever saw anybody like dive down the middle of something. So obviously you've been practicing your split us every day since the last episode obviously right? so this will be a breeze because if you hadn't been practicing that you're going to really struggle with this because oh, it's a split I'm us sure i'm not going to struggle maneuver this is going to be jeff easy. jeff <laughs> i have to admit something <laughs> i have something i have to tell I, you i have to tell you <laughs> i haven't been practicing every day well we're gonna we're gonna practice some more today do you want to fly it first just so you know what i what sure. you're coaching me through sure let me try it Yeah, fairly easy seems, if you're good at split S's. Let's seems see if like I can do struggling. one to the right. Uh, you nope. didn't, yeah, oh boy. Yeah, you need some practice. So uh, <laughs> I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. I guess his, uh, what he was doing is probably smart. Just cruise up to it and yep. then just and then drop down into it. Okay. And then what you really don't want to do is do this. That's going to make it really hard. Well, yeah, because you're so high. Well, you right. still did it. You made so, it look like, easy. For the first couple, I would go as slow as you can and just go right over the lip and then just kind of turn mm. around. Wait, wait, not for the first, for first one, you well, just yeah, want the me first to drop one. through, yeah, right? Yeah, okay. for the first one, okay, you're just going to fall see. into it like that. I got FPV going here. I think I can do that. But that's going to, or actually, if we're talking technically like it was in a race, you need yeah. to be coming out the same way you came in. Well, no, because I'm. it's an L, so I got to come in, go like 90. Like from this? Yeah. Okay. Well, then what I would do is just turn before you get there like this, mm -hmm. and then okay. just drop and then down drop. into it. Okay. So it looks way too easy. I just feel like I'm gonna nail it. We're gonna be done. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. Made us all feel better. All right, FPV dive gate round one. You just want me to creep up to it, drop yep. down. Yep. Go. Point the nose down. Oh, there you go. Well, I didn't point the nose down. That's fine. You went through it. Okay. Are, we already have one successful dive. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, we're done. <laughs> yeah, this one, try to point your nose down a little bit to get that feeling of going down through it. There you go. Like that? Yeah, great. <laughs> if you can do that, the L should be pretty easy because all you're going to do is turn a little bit okay. in the middle. But I like the creeping. I like getting used to it. Yeah. There you go. Boom. I have also have the Ladrib motors on this one. That's, so, that's gonna help. They have a lot. It's gonna give you style points. Okay, so what am I doing now? You might as well just try the L. Go out around that flag out there. Okay. And you're gonna do a slight right hand turn, just as you point your nose down. So you have to get to the other flag. Or that, or you can do it like that. Oh, oh, okay. Hold on. I, uh, okay, let me just come back here. You still approach it the same, but so, just right as you're dropping down, just tr start turning to the right. There you go. Whoa. Oh, just a little too far. The, no the, big deal. The movement was genuinely good. Was yeah. it? Genuinely I just the right cut thing. too just, shallow. Think of it oh. as you're just going to drop straight into it. Yeah. Don't do the turn ahead of time. Okay, so you, oh, so I got gotcha. you. As you're about to do it, and then turn. So drop through, then turn. Yeah. Start turning. He <laughs> <laughs> just like froze up and didn't do anything. <laughs> you want to kind of go back to thinking that you're just dropping straight through. Okay. And just add and a then little turn. turn. Just add a little turn in All there. Right. So I'm just pretty much just adding a little yaw. Yeah. But my momentum's going to be going. Well, you're going to want to give it a little bit of a uh, roll too on the right yeah. side. So drop down. Nope. Okay. Yeah, that scares me just because I'm going to have to do a lot of rolls. Maybe, or maybe just go do a couple more dropping straight through it again. I'm fine if I'm going linear. 
So now to try to do that, now, but just turn. And then I turn. Just turn. <laughs> okay, How close enough, close enough. Maybe you're more comfortable turning to the left I am. than the right. Yeah. That's it, that's it. There's a pole there! <laughs> <laughs> Don't freak out, it's just a pole. When I was like, learning to do things through things like flipping through a gap i cheated it i would like go through the gap and then do the flip and then i pulled that flip closer and closer to the gap to the point where i'd flip before the gap and then going through it but, i mean this is like long process you'd go like way through it then flip right go through it then flip then flip while you're in it then flip before it so i think it's like the same thing here like first just drop down yeah then drop down and turn, well, then drop down and turn a little bit earlier. I like coming a little bit wide, and then I think that's what, if I'm going straight into it, it, it kills it for me. Yeah. I think if I come a little bit wide and go down in, it feels a yeah, lot maybe better try for that. me. Yeah. Shoot more to the okay. left-hand side of it and turn first and then drop through. Okay. I'm gonna go slow. Just get your right turn ready to go. You're a little too far, but hey, perfect. I got it! It works. <laughs> it was sloppy, but I got it. That's fine, because I guess you can basically turn it into where you're still going straight if you do the turn ahead of time. So you're gonna approach it a little further right than you would if you were gonna do it normally, and then Right about here, you're gonna start your turn and then just drop down. You, okay. Oh, you could have saved that one. <laughs> you think? Yeah. My battery's dying, so let me try one more and then I'll come in. Drop her down. Woo! Piece of cake. Woo! Don't worry about that pole. <laughs> Not too bad. All right. A couple good dives. Such a simple move, and I'm so <laughs> nervous. Have you ever What are they doing? Are they drilling from water? Time? Really? Oh boy. You're ruining my audio, oh, wait, sir. I didn't... Yeah, I think we should move on to the real split S dives now. Okay. It's gonna be a little more challenging. All right, so what am I doing? Just go up to it nice and slow, and then once you get just past the lip of it, just kind of turn around and fall. Right here, just boop. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you wanted? <laughs> that was like the little trampoline. <laughs> okay. No, that was good. Just focus on the exit now. Nice. Ooh. Okay. Too okay. easy. I don't know if that was easy. I think it was half ac accidental. Oh, you're gonna make it harder on yourself. Why, because I popped up too high? And the, the higher you go is- The harder it's yeah. gonna be, okay. Because you're building up more speed. You're making, you're getting further away from the target. Nice and easy, controlled, got nice. it. Nice. Okay. Uh, you know, I noticed pumping the throttle makes a difference. Yeah, I want you to try to start flipping over sooner. Yeah. I want you to chuck it from way back here, flip upside down and coast into it. Because it's teaching you the skill. So upside down and yeah. it's teaching you the skill of being like falling, but yet controlling where you're going to fall. Yeah. To be able to do it this way, it's better for racing or freestyle. Because in racing, you'll be able to do it way faster. I wonder if I just pick up a little more speed. <laughs> Almost. But you you kind of want a little more downward arc though. It's going to be difficult. So I need to go higher. Yeah, just a little bit. Don't think about going through the gate. Just go right next to it to gauge the distance. Like already, I can tell you're going to go too far. <laughs> then you could maybe also use your pitch and like pull back a little bit as you're doing it because then you're translating more of your throttle to lift instead of going forward. Okay. But that's it's kind of a subtle nuance thing. It's hard to tell you like how much to pull back right about now. Okay. Like, would that have worked? Yeah, but ah, it's hard to explain what was, it's like you gave it enough blip there, but you didn't have enough momentum before the blip. That's why it's tricky. There's a slight difference will either make you go too far or not far enough. That one would have been pretty good. Okay. I'm just gonna show you how, you how to do a few from a little further away. There's a moment where you're kind of weightless. Just as you get flipped around and you give it a little bit of throttle to pause it, mm -hmm. like from that position, you actually have quite a bit of control, but you you need to get there a little quicker. Okay. Like you're kind of slowly rolling into it mm -hmm. so that by the time you get into that position, Sorry, you're already at the gate. To where if you like kind of quickly flip over and give it just a little pop of throttle, mm -hmm. you like pause and you're like not even moving anywhere. So okay, I want so to try to- show me. Yeah, I want to try to get that. So it's like right yeah. here. Yeah, you're keeping- See, I can like really drop straight. Okay, so one thing that I'm noticing is you're keeping the gate at the bottom of your screen. Yeah. I think that's the thing that I'm not paying attention to. Like, it, the gate never leaves the middle of your screen. It's and either I'm, the bottom. And I'm looking more straight down at it, too. Right. So I could probably do it from, like, ridiculously high. 
Nice. It's all about the control of falling straight down. <laughs> all right. But I want you to do it from about halfway, from about right, right about here. You see how you can like float forever? Yeah, Once yeah, you yeah. get turned totally around. Okay, I see. When you showed me what I was doing, the gate was higher in the frame. Right. Like you never let the gate pass the middle. So when you flip around, right. the gate is in the middle or the bottom of your yep. frame. And I think if I concentrate on that, yeah, because the, to... the kind of goal is like pretend you're going through a normal gate. You set it up in front of you and you go through it, right? Right. Well, this is the same thing except it's down. Mm -hmm. So you like in your view, make it the same as if you're just gonna go straight through it, but you're just going downward. Okay, I think I got it, I'm gonna try that. This All is right. gonna be the one I can feel it <laughs> in my gut. Cause it nose. always is when people yeah, say that. Exactly, you know what to do. That's it, commit, commit. Ah, okay, um, one you, more. You get on the throttle too soon sometimes. I sometimes do. you just wanna go really low throttle and let it fall. You're going towards it, pull up, way too far. Okay, so what do I need to do there? You need to... Flip sooner. Yeah, and also like pull up a little bit so you're not translating all that throttle. That was a nice one, yeah! <laughs> that was a nice one. That looked really aggressive. Huh? Yeah, that was good. Now I'm just gonna freeze out. Go. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thanks all man. All right, no problem. <laughs> high five! <laughs> this is what we do it on uh, Coach, FPV Coach nowadays. We do a lot of high fives. So that one was harder than I expected. It's not an easy thing. And it's yeah. just like the other one. If you practice it a bunch, you'll be able to do it every time. I but. think if now that you've given me some, some basic pointers, I think if I just, I like to practice by myself after getting good yeah. habits. I think I'll do fine after, you know, more practice. I definitely learned a lot, so thank you. No problem. Like most things, you don't master it in one day. Definitely. And sometimes when you sleep on it, that lets it like soak in and you, you can like take a break and come back and actually be better. Right. Well, and I want to thank Sean Morrison for helping uh, set things up, bring he out the gates. made it all possible. Yeah, thank you, Sean. Um, also, he, he had the suggestion of uh, putting the stuff in uh, Velocidrone and also talked to Liftoff. So we're, we're gonna have the same uh, pieces as I practice them. Oh, cool. We'll put them in the simulators and people can try them out. Thanks for watching and we'll uh, talk to you. What are you la my camera guy's laughing at me. <laughs> no, put in the comments the Don't stuff that you wanna see. Yes. Whoa. That was a little aggressive. <laughs>